all set. Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Happy Sunday. Um, so we're going to wait a couple of seconds for people to join in because I know the alert. Already takes joined. I'm here. Not you. Sorry. <laughs> Seriously, I've been trying to go live. What time is it? Like over an hour. hour. No. I get up here. Did you bring the craft cup? No. no. <laughs> go get the cup. Then he spills water everywhere. Yeah, I did do that. Like half a pint went all over the place. Yep. At least it was water, not beer or something. Great. And then he sits down. He's like, mm, camera's not right. So he fills with that. Oh, the chair's, chair's loose. <laughs> So I asked him for an Allen key. All the chairs. I have to go and find my Allen key. Oh, that's not the right size. So then he has to go and get his size. And then Emily and Scotty came over because they bought a TV that didn't fit in her Jeep. <laughs> so they had to borrow the truck. And then they got home with the TV and discovered they didn't have a drill to put it on the wall. So, so they had to borrow our drills and stuff as well. So that's my last hour, <laughs> if anyone was wondering. Um, hi, Alicia. Hi, Angela. Hello, everyone who's joining. So it's been an interesting Sunday morning to say the least. Anyway, we're here. I still haven't started work. I've still got to do all the garage and build all the shelves and stuff. Um, anyway, so thank you for everyone who watched our video on Friday night of us packaging the smushes. Uh, they all got shipped out yesterday. So they're at the post office or the UPS, oh. whichever way. Um, yeah, they're, they're really cool. I like them, yeah. I know. I like them too. They're for, what do they do? They're for stamping, stamping and getting like a really nice image. Yeah, we're going to do a whole video on that later in the week. Oh, we're not doing this now? No. Okay. Um, today, I have been watching some of the questions that have been coming up about layering stencils. Now, I developed a tool to go with layering stencils that was not supposed to come out till the end of the month. However, I was going to do, in response to your questions, I thought I'll do a video on how to do layering stencils, which means I had to kind of release the tool. So I just added it to the website. So sorry, Bethany, if you're watching. <laughs> Because you didn't know that. Please don't be mad. <laughs> that, that was going to happen. I added a few other things to the website. You're all going to find out about as well. Um, and usually, I get in trouble from Greg about doing these things as well. Today, I didn't. Oh, it's like you're over it. <laughs> okay, so do you want to show them this first of all? Yeah. Yeah. So this system is so easy. You can't really see it. It just looks like pale on pale. How do you like that? Just, just about, about to see. We'll show them in a sec. So this is so easy that this is why I want to do it with Greg because Greg's going to show you that even he can use this system and get perfect. Even he. Even he can do it and get a perfect <laughs> result. So this is the piece. It's eight by eight when you get it. And it's really hard to see, but there's engravings on here. Can you see? Yeah, there you go. If I do it like that, they can see it. Do you want me to zoom in? Hang on. Zoom in and focusing. Box would have gone oh, no, out. That was... Good. We're really You're good at this, great. aren't we? You're doing great, babe. You're Where's doing the... great. There we go. Okay. There you go. Okay. So you can see it's all engraved with these lines. So you have, um, if I go down like this, you've got the diagonals, so you can center everything. So you've got your true center here and your diagonals, so you can see it. And then you have a six by six line where you line your stencil up to, and it's written stencil on here as well. And then... Um, on here, you can see there's lots of these sets of three lines. So the three lines are there because this one is four and a quarter by five and a half. This one is four by five and a quarter. And this one is your inside layering. So it's the three layers we put on the front of a card. So you have the card front, the colored layer, and your background layer. So just depending on where you want to stencil, you do it. And you have it so that it's portrait, landscape. And then so you can have it this way. You can have it this way. You can have it this way and you have this way. So if you want to do like turnabout stuff with your stencils, you can do that with this as well. It's going to be cool? great for turnabout stamps, isn't it? That's well, and stencils too. Yeah. Because we may have some of those coming. Might we? We might. We might. We might. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that it does this. And this is our version for the four for your A2 cards. There will be a version for the slimline. It's a little bit harder to engineer, so it's taken me a little bit longer to do the slimline version. But um, the A2 version is ready. So I'm gonna show you with Gray, and it's a great way to show you how to use your um, six by six stencils on an A2 as well. So I like using my Make Art Station with this. And I just launched this in the website. You can go check it out. Here is the link to it as well. Um, Randy says, can I get an update on the Tim Holtz trimmer? They just came back into stock. Mine shipped on Friday. Um, you might want to switch camera angles. Yeah. 
Uh, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? It is. It's pushing a button. You just, yeah, but it's not as easy to remember. Well, no, anyway, it's not easy to remember. So, yes, they shipped to me on Friday. So I would hopefully, it usually takes about three days. So you should get it middle of next week. But everything else has shipped out to you. So if you ordered um, a smusher, if you ordered ink pads, if you ordered a subscription, oh, they've all shipped. Oh, have the ink pads yet? Um, no, you can show them in a minute. And then... Um, the new ink pads are really, really cool. Look at them. You good? Yeah, cool. <laughs> I like these. He's lost it. Um, so the, all of those are on there. Um, they've all shipped actually. The only thing that hasn't shipped is the um, anything with the foil. So we're still waiting for that to come in. All right. So, oh, Susie says, loving the nails. Thank you. I broke one. But they are glass nails. They're really cool. They're clear. Well, they made of glass? No, they're just clear. So they call them glass nails. Well, they're not glass then, are they? Oh, my God, Greg. They're acrylic, don't they? Right, what stencil do you like to use? You can do pencils, you can do confetti. This one takes a while. This is camouflage. Oh, camo one. You want to do camo? Yeah, why not? Okay, so switch to top down. I need right. that. <laughs> so oh, put paper this down first. Well, hang on, let's get this in so everyone can see it. So here's your base. And I like using the Make Art Station because you can take this down to your glass mat and things. But these magnets are really, really nice. And they're magnets that don't break either. Yeah, they don't break. They have a foam on them. So if they stick together, they don't smash. And they slide apart really nice and easily because of the foam on them. They're a really good design as it comes to magnets. The you can get, if you don't have a station, they are now in the store. There's a big version, the 12 by 12. And there's a mini, which is a 7 by 7. It's the mini. You don't have to do this. You can do this with tape rather than with magnets. I just like using the magnets because I find it holds it. So this is great, but um, I find it's a little bit too small. I like the big one personally. But you can get either of them in the Maker Forte store too. So um, I'm just going to stick this down and put your magnets towards the edge. And it doesn't matter if this is on the wonk at all. You don't have to line it up because all you're lining up is done on Is it on the here. wonk the technical term? On the wonk is the technical term. I thought so. You're going to want some repositionable adhesive, um, ideally. This one is my favorite. Again, we added this one to the store. We tried out tons and tons of different adhesives. Oh, Greg finds adhesive runners for days in this house. Yeah, we did a, yes. <laughs> and also a glue eraser because you're going to use adhesive on here. So this is the adhesive I was using last night because I was making something. And this is great because you can reuse it a few times, but eventually it gets all gunked up. And then all you do is take this. Could you use some like cleaning fluid or something as well? Um, or does not work? I can't get it off the cleaning fluid. But this is great also when you get a little bit of adhesive on the edge of your card where you don't want it. You can oh, just okay. use it. And you want to use short strokes and just kind of like, you see it all like bundles together. Yeah, it kind of bubbles together. And then, and you, then just you just pick, pick it up. Brushing. And a final clean, I just wipe it over with a little bit of alcohol. And then... Any particular alcohol? Vodka, gin, whiskey? Well, I use prep pads, but you know, whatever you want. Um, so yes, so this is here as well. Is the top layer of the magnet glass board easily cleanable? Yes. This is, to, it's basically, it's metal that's had um, grid lines put on top of it. But... It's um, the only magnetic one out there right now. Well, there's a tonic one, but I really love Wendy, and I think she invented it, so I think she should get the credit for it. Um, tonic copied it. So I really, really like this. Um, and you can get extra magnets there in the store too. It comes with a ruler that's magnetic too. This comes with it. You get four magnets with it, I believe, and this. I just have some extra magnets too. Now, the other part is you can get this corner add-on yes it is easy to clean i spritz it with some squid buster give it a wipe and it's ready to go again um i love my make art Bernice says yeah i really like this too this actually since we've done layering stencils i use this all the time i never used to use it i'll be honest but since we have this and with this tool it just works perfectly all right so they also do this add-on that we're going to use again we have this in the store it comes in with this L and there's another piece in it, but this is the key. You're gonna love this. All that's right. Cool. So that's got magnets sunk into it. Yeah. Wow, they did a good job of that. Mm -hmm. All right, you're gonna do this all on your own. Well, with a little bit of instruction. Ready? You got, you've squirreled, babe. Sorry, yeah, I'm looking at the tool. That's really cool, I like that. Okay, so 
you're going to put a little bit of adhesive, this one, the temporary adhesive, just in the center here. doesn't really matter where. Okay, that was easy. Okay. And, and now you want to line that. this up. And because this is a car front size, do you see? I know it's a bit harder. For is it the middle camera. one or the outer one? The outer the one, because it's the full size. So you're going to line okay. that up on there. Sorry if I'm blocking everybody's view with my head. So you line up on the... However big your cardstock on the, is, Yeah, basically. based on whatever size you are, and that holds down. Okay? Okay. Yeah, this is a really nice little add-on. It helps you center everything. You can use it to stamp, too. Like, if you have a big background stamp, you can put it on here. And we selected a Mylar that's really, really nice for ink blending. You're going to see in a second how it's going to really help your blending as well and make it super, super simple. Hey, Lisa! Um, would the corner magnet pieces from the Misty work on the artboard as well? I don't know. I haven't got my Misty corners. Actually, I think I might know where they are. Let me see. I'm looking if I've got them. Just wanders off halfway through to go and search for something. Why has the volume got really loud? Hi. I don't Is that better? I think I clipped it. Yep, they work. Oh, there you go. That works too. I never thought to use that. Great idea. Who asked? I can't remember. Alicia. Great idea, Alicia. That works too. I'll switch back. So yes, you can use your Misty Corners, which I did ask for an update from Misty, and they said uh, they were in in the next couple of days. So nobody has Misty Corners. So as soon as we can get them, they'll be on their way to you. Now, he was selected the Camouflage Stencil. And all of our stencils that are layering stencils have either a one, two, three, so it tells you. Oh, she's you... doing multicolored camo. Yes. Oh, oh this is going to be fun. Okay, so I understand what I'm so doing. So step here. one. So step one. Is so that step one? Yeah, it says step one on it. I assume when it says step one, that means it's step one. Yes. Yes. Well, this is one and two, because technically you can put a base color down if you want to, but we're not going to. No, we're going to do that. All right, so I punk that where it says stencil. Stencil. And now here's my tip for keeping it. So what I like to do is, so my stencil will always go in the same place, is I use this corner and I butt it up against the stencil. Now, you oh, could okay. tape this in place, and it works fine just to tape it. But I also... You could actually just take this out of the way, position that into the the cut edge, and then you can just shove that in there. Yeah, that's time. what I do. Oh. But, or you can tape it. Like, if you don't have all these magnet pieces, you can just tape it. That works, too. So if you just have a piece of uh, tape, and my tape's on my table downstairs, I think. Yeah. That makes it so easy. Isn't that easy? Yeah. And then you don't need any tape either. That's the nice part of this. And if you want to hold, you know, this side of your thing down, you just grab a magnet. I definitely recommend buying an extra set of magnets. So. Yeah, they're um, good magnets as well. Yeah. It's nice and strong. Greg, actually, can I just say, switch please. Can I just say, I invented this tool and I think Greg actually likes it. <laughs> I do actually. Like I keep thinking that for once I actually engineered something well. What do you mean for once? Well, usually you're like, well, you could have improved it by doing this. Or you oh, should have yeah, done this. Oh, yeah, that's usually true. Have I done a good job so far? Pretty good so far, yeah. Okay. So Not now bad. you need to pick some colors. Okay, these three. You want to do camo in these three? Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to be a very effective camo. Okay, whatever. You could be camouflaged in like a clown shop or like a paint factory or something like that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> just not right, what do I do? Do I just go nuts yes. with it? No, no, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, Natalie, we have extra magnets in the store um, at that link that I just gave you. If you go to it, um, I've oh, listed it by it. new to old. So this tool is in there. There's no picture because I didn't have one. And Bethany doesn't work on a Sunday because she deserves some time off. She works a lot. Um, Lisa thinks it's hilarious that you're doing um, neon camo. But yes, you can get them. I have them in stock downstairs. They're all pre-cut ready and engraved. And trust me, these take forever to make. The engraving on these um, and to get it precise and things, we, we really, really tried. And to find a mylar that allows you to blend nicely. So you're going to start with your lightest color. Okay. So yeah, actually, you're going to want to go this way. I was going to go that way. And you're going to use your brushes. I do, just blah, 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 Yeah, but you probably want to do it so they can see. Oh, yeah. So, well, blue, blue, blue first. <laughs> yep. Oh, then you do you like go off? And so, off? yeah. So, the idea is here you've got extra room to mm. soften your blend out. So, you soften it a bit here and then you bring it in. Yeah. Hey. That's why I designed it to be much bigger so that you had room and you have like all four sides. You can do each color on each side. So you don't have to keep washing it in between either. I 
Oh, thanks, Alicia. She said this, wow, this is a very nice price product in my cup. It's one of those products you're going to use over and over. You never have to buy another one apart from the slimline one. But for an A2 card, you're never going to need another one. And if you use the magnetic piece, it's so easy. Literally, I keep this on my table like this, and then that's it. Because I've had this on my table for quite some time. I just couldn't show anyone. Have we showed people these yet? No. So we're just kind of randomly, these have just randomly appeared. And nobody's seen them or anything yet. We're just using some. Yeah, no one's seen the clear lids or anything. Because they're all the test ones I had had the dark lids like that. What well, do we not want to, like, mention the brilliant awesomeness of what these look like look 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 they're clear well so i have to tell you that the clear will only be on the neons because we found out through testing i'm kind of sad about it that um the black the clear lids degrade the ink pads if it's not the neon there's something special in the neon that helps it doing that so um what he does it what he does i, I was reading a comment <laughs> at the same time so all of your neons will be clear all of your other colors will be black. But what we're going to do is include, if you're on an ink subscription, you're going to get stickers that go on the side of your black ones. Um, you'll get six, I think it is, or maybe, no, it's four, because you do it on all, like, the o'clocks, on the quarter hours, basically. Um, you'll get four stickers that are color-coded, so you can put those on the side so you know what your inks are. So that was our thing. So if you buy them from us, you will get those included. Tammy said, you look like you're losing weight. You look great. Thanks. You've been going to the gym. Apart from this week, we didn't get to go. But we did go swimming yesterday. Um, well, it's all overexposed. You can't see the pink. Well, you're the one who does this, not me. Oh. Um, you can see it more on here. I think okay. that's the TV correcting it. It might be the TV. Um, this is like bright pink, like bright pink. Rika says, this is such a clever idea. Uh, Sharon says, this is great. He would ask the questions we'd want to ask. Denise says, great work. Uh Lisa says, love the sticker idea. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah. Or do you want it more? No, you would want to start light because you're going to layer more colors on top. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so then you just take your magnet off, lift up your stencil. Oh, I should have put a bit more up there. Well, you remember you always cut it down too. You've done oh, it full yeah, size. okay. Now you want to use step two, or step three rather, because this is one and two. Step three. So now everything's all lined up. All I do is drop that in place. And yep. I can check it against the lines on here. Yeah. Put a magnet on. Don't move this. Well, it wasn't quite right. Well, all right, your camera's got to be slightly off. Yep, you can totally put your stickers on the diagonals too. Um, are you good there? There we go. Right, I think I've got it. You weren't supposed to move this. The idea is you just put it wherever it was. Yeah, I know, but I'm sure it jigged a little bit. It was bugging you, wasn't it? It was a bit. Right, blue? Blue. Do I need a different smisher thing? Yes. Look at the colour of that blue. I know. It's like the so bluest thing I've ever seen. Put your lid back on, please. Thank you. I like lids on this stuff. Are your inks like distress inks? Yes and no. Um, so distress are designed to be purposely like Where bleeding. Where did the metal come from? It came out of the brush. Mm, I don't know then. Um, we can clean it later. Uh, mm. So distress are designed to bleed a lot more. These are thicker. Uh, distress are very translucent just because of the way Tim wants them to be. And trust me, I love distress. They're the one ink pad I have kept, even with my own ink pads, is my distress inks. Um, so I love this neon camera. What's wrong with neon camera? So, they, um, they're both water-based. They're both water-reactive. You can smush with them, but ours are a lot thicker. I mean, you can see the coverage that Greg's getting. Like, they're super thick. Here, let me show you. Um, let me take the blue that Greg's using. Where is it? Acid wash. So this is acid wash blue. Excuse me a second there. So this is my test piece that I did, and I did it for all my colors. Um, but this I just stamped out normally. This I stamped and spritzed so you can see the difference when you spritz it because you're watering down the pigment and then you can see how you can go from really really intense to really light with them as well they're really lovely for doing ombre and i'm going to show you tomorrow um in lift your spirits you're going to hear more about the fact of how you can do layering stamps and you can do two to three layers with these inks just because there is so much pigment and they're so opaque look how like thick this coverage is and if you feel it i'm going to get greg to feel it too you can actually feel it almost feels like the crocodile skin well it's cobblestone but they're like 3d it's really cool 
You can actually feel the texture. Yeah, you can actually. So they're really fun. You can also with these, if you work, um, so if you stamp, you can um, go immediately. You can heat emboss these too with a clear heat embossing or a color if you want to too. Um, and they're on a silicone foam rather than a felt foam. So they're the differences between the two. Uh, yep, lift your spirits tomorrow. If you haven't got your ticket, it is totally free. Uh, go to makeaforte.com and register for your lift your spirits ticket. And um, you can come and make four cards. And it's four cards using one stamp set. And it's totally free. We have lots of fun. And we do giveaways and all sorts of things. I noticed that Dr. Greg knows how to tap off the excess ink from the brush. Good job. <laughs> Alicia Johnson says, I'm going to confess, in PJs, drinking a Coke, eating an apple pastry, shopping, make a forte. What an amazingly fun, naughty morning. Glad the hubby is out ice fishing. That just sounds like an amazing morning. <laughs> that sounds like all of you are having an amazing time out ice fishing as care. well. That one? I'd love to go ice fishing. Okay, so now I just put stage four on. Everything's already lined up because I've got my square in there. Yep. Plonk the magnet. That's it. And I got Get another brush. Bright purple this time. Look at that. Um, I love that swatched out. Yeah, I really like this. I played around with a few different options, but I ended up going with this is watercolor hearts because it has the big and the small heart. So you can see, like, it doesn't matter what color. I'm just picking some random ones. They just work out really, really nicely. And then doing the cobblestone and just taping it off and then you see you know this is it just stamped out this is it spritzed and then this is how dark to how light i can go so i can really kind of you know look at my um my things that way okay uh let's see Turns out for conflict events, so I won't be on the live for Lift Your Spirits. Oh, we'll miss you, Randy. But don't forget, you do get lifetime access. So Lift Your Spirits is at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, so 4 p.m. Pacific, and then um, you get lifetime access. So if you can't make it live or you make it late, don't worry. You will get forever access, and it's always the same link. So that uh, makes it nice and easy. Candy says she's in her PJs too, but she's crafting, not shopping, maybe later. Uh, Francine says, I love that heart stamp, which sets it from. It's from Watercolor Hearts. Um, I think, what time BST? I don't know. Have you changed your clock, Susie? If you've changed your clocks, it's 7 o'clock at uh, midnight. 7 o'clock here is midnight in England. Uh, if you haven't changed your clocks, then it could be 11 or it could be 1. I'm not entirely sure which way it goes at this time of year. It's like a few weeks a year when they're... Yeah, there's a couple of weeks every but year. Where that, if you've changed your clocks, then it will be midnight. I can do that much. Uh, I miss info on the sheet you're using that you put your stencil and cardstock on. So it's a new tool, Connie, that we're releasing today. First time ever being shown or released. It wasn't actually supposed to be released, but lots of people asked how to do layering stencils. So I decided that we'll do a close we up again at the end. We showed everybody at the start. We'll show everybody. And I'll again drop a link in a second of where you can get it. It's called our perfect placement tool. You can also use it with the gel press. Um, I have a special guest coming for a future class, and she's going to show us how to use it with the gel press. She said it's awesome to use. Check with the gel out press. neon camo that is pretty awesome see it looks really dull to them but here it's like super bright yeah i think that's something to do with the camera mm, that's all you it is all me but i have no idea what the problem should is. we keep the brushes we use with these inks separate from the ones we use no you can use these inks with distress inks i've not had any issue i switch backwards and forwards um obviously the only thing is you can't use either of them with oxides because of the oxide element to them so you can do some zooming in i know it's out of focus i'm working on it wrong button there we go. So now Lots you can see it a little bit better with all the uh, different colors there. And there you can see the, uh, what's it called, honey? The lineup thing? The engraving. Engra so this is a piece of mylar that you put down a magnet onto the surface, all of your... And it's thicker than our old mylar. We've gone to a thicker, more rigid mylar, and that's what's enabled us to do tools like this. So all of these, um, what are they called? The uh, raster engraving, isn't it? Um, no, this one is engraved. It takes forever to make. Oh, okay. This is a special And it has one. all of the things, in, all of the, I don't know what I'm saying. How do you do the description? All right, so well, when you're done, you just, it's a temporary adhesive, so you just lift it up and you're done. So there's your piece. That's Super really cool. Super simple. Um, and then you can reuse this adhesive a few times. And when you're done, you just take your adhesive rubber or a razor, because you know how to say rubber here, 
Um, yeah, rubber means something else in America. And then you just it? go over it. And this is wiped clean. So I don't have a turkey or some cloth. I don't think that's wet. Got a... Do you want to pass me some squid buster? <laughs> great job, great. <laughs> he just poured some of the water. Well, I spilled water everywhere else today, so I may as well just... Uh... All right, well, while Greg's doing that, Wendy says, a video yesterday suggests we keep our brushes used with different inks separate. It's personal preference. I say all dye inks, and I would say a lot of crafters say this, that you could interchange them. However, I clean my brushes every time I use them. A lot of people don't clean their brushes, and I think that's... Yes, I do. Well, it's about the only thing you clean. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're so much trouble. Um, <laughs> so Thank I you, clean my brushes every time I craft with them, or Maddie cleans them for me. Ah, know. so you don't clean no, them. No, I do clean them sometimes. You have them clean. Anyway, they are clean between uses. A lot of people have a pink brush and use it from pink to pink to pink to pink to pink. I don't like doing that because I have different shades of pink and then I contaminate it and I never get the right shade. Personal preference, some people will berate me for that. I know there's gonna be comments later that say, no, how do you do that? But I clean my brushes every time. That's me. One of the few things, as Greg says, I do clean. Um, so I clean my brushes every time because yeah. I just like that. With having my own inks, can I have some Squid Buster too, please? With my own inks, um, I am. I did just order a set of brushes to keep one for Rara Oscar, one for Acid Wash, one for Purple Rain, because I'm going to use those colors all the time, and then my inks. But it's entirely personal preference. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, in my canoe with my paddles, trying to stay afloat in this rainstorm. It is pretty intense out there. Um, is if it? anyone yeah. is friends with Greg's on Facebook, and I know a few of you are, you will have seen me getting very wet doing the barbecue <laughs> yesterday. We bought a new barbecue yesterday. It's the first barbecue we've had for a while. And it seems to be a curse. Like, we've had beautiful sunshine down here in Florida for months, and then we go and buy a barbecue, and it absolutely hammers down while we're cooking on it. So I we just... have to go and get drenched to get our... Um, Pork tenderloin back. I just dropped the link down below <laughs> to the uh, new products. Oh, so I thought it was a link stuff. to the video of you and I getting soaked. Yeah. Um, Karen says the neon camo gives a beautiful tie dye look. Oh, yeah, it does actually. Oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. You can do all sorts of cool yeah, stuff with it. It's kind of a tie dye. I really like it. Uh, Alicia says, Greg, bite your tongue. The day isn't over yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to clean this, So to clean this, where was I? I'm trying to not. I just spritz it with some Squid Buster and wipe, and it's clean and ready to go again. That's how easy that is. Yeah, so, that's it. You're clean. <laughs> you're ready to go. It's all good. And the nice thing, so I want to show you a couple of other things you can do with this. We've got some kitchen towel to dry off so not everything gets soaked. Um, well, again. Again, yes. Um, so how do I clean my brushes, Francina? So we have a special little tool to clean your brushes coming, hopefully with our brushes too. I don't think calling Maddie a special little tool is appropriate. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but what I do is I spritz them with Squid Buster and then I basically just rub them in the sink with this little tool. So stay tuned for that. But if you use some Squid Buster, it's going to um, go really, really easily too. If we want re uh, can we order these far in the future? Will you sell them until your current stock sells out? If we want reinkers for your ink, can we order these far in the future, or will you only sell them? Oh, um, we have reinkers, so you can auto ship our three colors of ink every month. And if you want to know what next month's three colors are, you have to come to Lift Your Spirits tomorrow. Um, we'll also show you what the silhouette is. We'll tell you what the simple sayings are. There's tons of secret info in Lift Your Spirits, as well as four amazing cards and giveaways and special offers and a special release just for Lift Your Spirits people too. Um, so yes, and you can auto ship the ink pads and you can auto ship the re-inkers too. So when they come out, you get a special discount and free shipping if you do the auto ship. So it's well worth doing. It's a really, really fun thing. And every month you get three um, really fun colors. And just as a sneak peek, can you go down? This is some of the rainbow you're gonna get. I'm not going to tell you what month is when. But oh, is this our whole color palette? Yeah, this is this That's... year's color palette. I'm not telling them the color names. Everyone, and though. they can't see all of them. But you are going to get a really pretty rainbow. Greg was very impressed with my little swatch book. It is very cool. We've got some awesome, Greg's well, really nice colors. Oh, my God, Greg. I'm dying laughing over here. What did I do? 
what buster is it only in the usa it's called squid, squid buster, buster susie it's cleaning fluid. um you can order it we will ship it to the uk um and when we do a hatch her Chanda show, I can't even get my words out, or now it's called The Craft Store, I think. Um, they sometimes stock it as well, but we won't be back on until the end of June. You can um, get it in the big eight ounce bottle, this one, or you can get it in a two ounce bottle. And this is our own cleaning fluid. It works brilliantly. Stamp cleaner and like also like a gentle cleaner. Alicia says, yes, 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 shush, Greg. I love seeing the colors. <laughs> Sandy says, I just placed my order for the magnetic mat. Yay, Sandy. Um, so we'll get that and you'll get your, um, you can order the perfect placement. I think that's what it's called. Perfect placement layering stencil tool thing. It's at this link. Let me just give you the link. It's so much easier if you just go there. It's the one item that doesn't have a picture. There's your. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. Well, no, Bethany has a picture. I just added oh, okay. it when didn't tell Bethany. Okay. I'm making one of those swatch books, Lisa says. Someone asked if we can make, sell these swatch books. Uh, no. You have no idea how long this took me to make. <laughs> if anyone can work out how to get true colors and we can make copies of it, that's a different story. But I would hmm. literally be here from here from forever to make everyone one of these. Literally forever. That well, it takes an infinite amount of time. Well, it took me, what, three? A finite amount of time. Three days to make this with all the colors? Yeah, that's finite. That's three days. That's yes, times infinite. however many people. Well, three times however many people still gives you a finite number. It still doesn't give you infinity, does it? And if anyone wants the stamp set, it is called Watercolor Hearts. And if anyone wants the stencil, because it is a really good stencil for doing the fade out, it's called Cobblestone. All right. Do you want to show people this we'll again We'll do a review, the and I'm going to show them how to do it with a spotlight, too, because you can use it with other stencils, too. How are you doing it now? Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show them different ways to use it. I'm so, going to say, was mine not good enough? Zoomy, zoomy. Zoomy what? Zoomy, zoomy. You mean top down? No, I want you to zoomy, zoomy in on the top down. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm wondering what the radio you're Melissa talking about. Melissa says smack him. She does that a lot. <laughs> Do you right. a video to show how you made those? I can definitely do a video to show you how I made the swatches. Oh, that might be an idea, yeah. I make my own as I receive new product. Tell Greg to do it. Yeah, Greg, <laughs> you make them for everyone. There you go, well volunteered. Great I still have my new job tomorrow. I'm not going to have time. Okay, so this is our new perfect layering tool. So I'm going to put my it's finger It's really here. difficult to see. I think coming a bit closer. There you go. There you go. So it is eight by eight. I'm just going down here so you can see kind of like, oh, look, there's a good way to see it. There there's all the engravings. So there's a really good way to see it. I just kind of caught the light, right? So what you have, oh, how did I get that? There it is. So you have the two diagonals and you have the two you crosses. Go. So you've got a true center here. This smushy bit is where I keep putting my adhesive in. It's going to get smushy, but you can clean it off as I showed you at the beginning. Um have the outline for your six by six stencil and you can also use it with a2s i'm going to show you how in a second and then you have this is your portrait a2 here this is your landscape a2 when you see it in the flesh it's a lot easier it makes a lot more sense and then these are your two on points so if you want to do a card so you can go and do the turnabout thing you can go this way and then you can go this way and then you can go this mm. way and then you can go this way yes babe Oh, good job, babe. That's what the smush is for. There you go. Now it doesn't move around. You can just see it. Yeah. So you can <laughs> see, you can go this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. And the three different sizes are what? That's the... So you've got three sizes on every one. You see there's three lines. So this is your full A2 card front. Card, yeah, your base. And then this is what we normally do as our colored layer, and this is what we do as our white layer. Should I grab a card so they can see what I mean? Yeah. And then you you're wandering your off sense. midway through again. Yes, I know. You keep telling them. Is this lack of prep? No, this is just like, oh, I just, you know, that might make it easier to understand. I'm here. I'll put you back. <laughs> okay, so here it is. So that your outer line is your card base, your next line is what is blue. And then your inner line is what here I've done as a glitter cardstock with the hipster valentine. So you can use any three of these sizes and line it up perfectly. As I say, there'll be a slimline version of this too. But this works for your six by six. Um, you can also do eight by eight stencils. You just line it up to the edge of this because this piece is eight by eight. And then you can also 
um, use it with your A2. So I'm going to show you in a second how you do it with the A2. So it uses every side. This is engraved in here, so you can't wash it off. You can clean this with Squid Buster. You can get alcohol inks on it, and you can clean it off with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. And it's great for ink blending. You saw Greg could blend on the outside and then move in. I haven't made anything. Greg's made it all. That's how easy this is yeah, to this use is we as well. Um, Pretty cool. So that's as well. Kathy says, I missed the very beginning, so I'm glad you showed it again. Um, she always comes back, Greg. Yes, I do. Um, so could I order an acid wash in December if I run out of that ink pad then? Yes, you absolutely can. We will keep in stock the reinkers. Um, it's a product we're just going to carry. Now, the other way, so I'm going to show you first the A2, and then I'm going to show you one other way that you can use this, because I made it that you don't just use it for one thing. Hold up all the time. So I still have some sticky in the center here, and I'm just going to grab out a piece of our regular white card stuff. You can still use Perfect Blend on this, too. So I'm going to line this up. Do you want to, like, mm. show them what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to add a bit more adhesive. Where did I put that? Here it is. Uh, what cute card do you sell that stamp set? Yes, it's called Hipster Valentine. And the best part of it, and I love this, is if you use the shape gems, so these are the little bows and these are the bow ties. I bought, <laughs> when we sourced the gems, I made sure they were the size that you could fit them on your stamp to embellish them. So she has a cute little bow, like a pussy bow in the front here, and he's wearing a little bow tie. They're really cool. Isn't that cool? That's a lovely card. I really like that. Yeah, one. and it's Hipster Valentine, if anyone's looking for it. Okay, <laughs> so you can put your A2 stencil on. So we're gonna do A2 this time. So I'm putting my card down. I put it with the appropriate piece. it up piece. again, everyone will be able to see better. I know it'd be harder for you, but that doesn't matter. Oh, okay, great. There you go. So, so I lined, I'll pull this up for a second. So I put some repositionable tape in the center and then, yeah, it's much harder for me. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, I know, it's better for everybody else. With the outside of my cardstock. And then let's, for instance, do the apple spotlight. So the apple comes with two pieces like this. And for this one, we're actually going to line our corner up with the corner of our cardstock. So you don't absolutely need to have the corner piece because you've, you've you got don't. the scoring. It's just this makes it easier. It's like a set yeah, square. So if it you just don't, means so you if can... I take this away. Like but this corner this. piece does definitely help. Yeah. So if I move that out of the way, or you, you would do the same thing. You would just tape it in place. So this way I'm going to center this one up. Like so. And it just means that everything stays in the same place. Yeah, it just because makes it faster Because all these stencils are the same size. Okay, this one's got tape to so it. And then you put this one on top. So you can see everything's the same size. And everything just drops. And then it all just perfectly drops into in position perfectly. against that set Exactly. Square. So yes, you can use tape if you don't have the square, but the square is just a really nice detail to have. Um, there you go. Uh, so is that a stamp? Yes, it's called Hipster Valentine. That's right. Thanks, Lisa. Um, Randy says Dollar Tree has the perfect raindrop jam for Maker Forte rain stencil. Jam? Oh, gem. Oh, have oh to go well out there. Look at it coming across the water. Holy moly. There's like a tide coming across. There's like out, out the window here, there's, there's like a that lake. That they can't see. That you can't see. But it's just, it looks it's, like the sea at the does. moment. It's, it's a small tide. lake and it's like, it's all over the place. Raindrop gems. Wow. So yes, so weather. you can use this with your A2. It also works really, really well if you have, so here's the circle spotlight. And I'm going to use my magnet to hold it down because my one is very well loved. I use this one all the time. It's one of my favorite stencils. So I put it down like this. And then pixie spray is the key here, which I didn't pixie spray these either. I don't know what Emily did with my pixie spray set. But you would pixie spray this and then it just drops in. Do you need some pixie spray? I have some behind me. If you... I have some over here. They can see me, can't they? No, not really. I'll come this way. Okay. So I have my, oh, this one's empty. Yeah. Oh, really? Do you want another one? Yes, thanks. Yes, dear. Yeah. You knew that was going to happen. <laughs> yes, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> anyway, 
So this is my flat box back here. It's just about in frame. And I have a station where I do my spraying. Yeah, you can tell it's all covered in blue residue. Yeah. So I just keep that to the side. So flat boxes are in the store too if you don't have one. It's the best investment you'll ever make. They're all good, the splat boxes. Did you I, just put that glue side down? No, I did not. Sure? Yes. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it seems like it's stormy all over Florida. Yeah, it is at the moment. Oh, it's got even worse. Yeah. Okay, we're just not going to look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop looking out there. Person. I love storms. They're right. awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my A2... Hello. What? Uh, See, you. it's easy to forget when you get in the groove. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. This is terrible because usually we've designed all of our lighting to avoid the glare that you look at in the top down. But now we light. want the glare so that you can see the So now lines. you can just put this down. Everything's held in place. And if you want to do the same spotlight or if you do this and then you want to put the opposite piece in and take it out, you can just do this. Because now the centerpiece is held in with the pixie spray. pixie spray, so now you can peel the outer stencil away. And it's, and it's perfectly centered. Exactly. You might actually be better putting this down now. There you go. There you and go. it's perfectly centered. So you can use this tons and tons of different ways. So it's a really, really great way to use it. And it makes layering stencils, spotlight stencils, all those things. But even if you're just using a regular stencil, so say you're using your confetti. I'm just going to remove this. We'll put our cardstock down. It's just. You can center up your cardstock, put your confetti down, and it holds, if you use all of these little tools we've got here, your no tape, which is really nice, and it holds everything in place, and it keeps it all centered. And the nice thing is, so okay, so I did this confetti, and this is a really fun stencil to do this with, is you can keep turning this and adding more and more confetti, because it's not symmetrical. I did this on a card the other day. So if you have a stencil that's okay. rotational, it also allows you to keep turning it, or you can create a hint. Like you always have this in the same place, and you can keep turning your cardstock. So it's really fun. Oh, yeah, okay. There's different ways to use it. I have one other way that's really cool to use it. Can you pass me one of those big stamps that's to your right, please? What big stamps? The ones that are right there, dear. Oh, these? Yes. Are these released yet? Yes. Okay, you're allowed to. Uh, which one of these two do you like best? Uh, probably, I don't know. I'm not sure. What one do you guys like best? Do you like New Beginnings or do you like Night Garden best? We could go with either. I quite like both of them, actually. So what's the idea with these? You can do like a rotatory sort of thing. No, I'm going to show you something, but someone needs to decide which one I'm using. Does Pixie Spray leave a residue on your paper? No, it doesn't as long as you let it dry for about 30 to 60 seconds first. If you put it down too fast onto your surface, then it will leave a residue. But as long as you let it dry on your stencil and then do it. Um, this would work well with stamps. We're just about to, Denise. Yeah, literally um, on it. I love that tool. I love stenciling. I hate using tape, so this is genius. Yep. It's just a little add-on, and it makes such a difference, too. Which and one I are we like, going with? I don't know. New Beginnings, New Beginnings, Night Garden, New Beginnings, Night Garden. Definitely New Beginnings. Well, it's only one of New Beginnings, but yeah, okay. No, not the New Beginnings. Oh, okay. We'll go New Beginnings. Um, yeah. All right. So we're going to use a background stamp with this um, tool, too. Do you just want the stamp? I just want the big stamp, yeah. So you can tell this. You can also use this with red rubber stamps. So if you have a big red rubber background stamp, this will work too. So first of all, we're going to line our stencil, our stamp up with where it says stencil because it's a six by six stamp. Oh, she's now putting the stamp down upside down. Mm -hmm. uh, what color ink would you like to use, honey? Oh, the uh, I like the blue actually. Acid the neon wash. blue, yeah. Acid okay, wash. That's so really cool. you you can do it. You can what prove how easy this is. Just ink up the stamp. Like generous. You can't really go ungenerous with these. There's so much no. ink in them. Yep, so you can use this with any rubber, red rubber stamp, those background stamps. Someone in Stamp Junkies was commenting how um, with these backgrounds, it's really, really hard to um, to get good impressions. This is going to be really easy. You need to prime them. Well, yes, priming. Get a good this one is already need, primed. Yeah, we've primed these, but we've made a, um, what's it called? The stamp, stamp prime. primer. The spray that primes your big stamps, and it gives you a much well, better impression stamp. from them. Or, any or stamp. a solid yeah. stamp. Like that watercolor heart that I used on my swatches. If you prime it, you get a really nice impression like this. If you don't prime it, you won't. 
All right, there we go. Is that in key enough? Yep. Then we're going to take our cardstock, which I put down somewhere. I can do with a piece of A4 paper, or not A4, eight and a half by 11 from next to you, though. Which one is eight and a half by 11? The big one. This one? Yeah. A printer paper would be way better, but all I have to hand right now is big cardstock. So now we're going to put our paper down, a piece of paper on top, and now Greg's going to smush. And then I like, then I'll hold this in and you can smush that in. You put lots of pressure on. Good, I amount, know. good amount of pressure. Okay. Okay. That's a new Maker Forte smush it, by the way. It's really cool. And then block. the easiest way to pick this up is with your tweezers. Let's hope this worked because we're live. Look at that. Perfect impression. And that would be really hard Super to do easy. with a background stamp normally, particularly one this detailed. So that's a combination of the the Mr. P the stamp primer mm -hmm. and the smusher. Yep. That gives you that. Well, the smusher really more than anything, but it's nice that you can do it on this. You don't have to have a misty or anything. You just go. So I'm going to put this to the side for a second because this needs to be washed. I don't want that too dirty. Let's just give this a white clean with your turkey awesome cloth. Do you need the squid buster? No, there's only a tiny bit. You'll be fine. This is all like pulled water in here now. Cause... Lovely. Thanks, babe. Well, I'll clean it well, out. Well, if your background after... stamp is mounted on wood, you can still do this same technique. It's a little bit harder because of the wood mount, but you can still do it. I've I've done them. Um, you can remove them from the wood too. I hear you do it in the microwave. I haven't done it. Um, Alicia says, you mean the best tweezers ever. Thank you. Um, so this method is better than using Misty. I like this method because with a Misty, you have to kind of do it a few times. Also, you can use your smusher on top of the Misty, but for a really detailed background stamp like this, and some people can't afford the Misty. It is a pricey tool. Like It's definitely in the pricey range. Um, this is really, really cool. So it just gives you another option. That's all it is. And it's another way to use a tool you now already have, or you probably will already have once you order yours today. Um, and if you're a member of Stamp Junkies, the group, Stamp Junkies on Facebook, they're awesome. There's 30, actually there may be more. I thought it's like 37,000 people, but that's, I think there's more in it. They have an exclusive coupon code for Maker Forte, so you can use that too. Um, All right. Athena said, so I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, so Athena says, what tool is it you're using to rub across the paper? It's called a smusher. Smusher. Um, it's also in here. I'm going to find it for you. Really cool. It's a big, minute. like, hefty block with a felt, pink felt top on it. You to rub your stamps down, or you can use it on your Misty, or you could use it just directly. I use it for all sorts of things. use it for all sorts of things. I also use got, like, it as really a weight, nice... like when I glue yeah. something down, and I just want to keep it um, glued down. I just do that and leave it there, and it holds it down. So that works really it's well, Just too. a nice big block. So here is the link to the smusher. I like the smusher. Um, okay, so this is the other cool thing about this particular stamp. Is, so I'm going to stick this down where it's supposed to go. They still can't see what I'm doing there. And this stencil, I have to remember which way around it goes. There it goes. Oh, happens there you to go. coordinate with this stamp. So now, again, can take my corner piece, put it in place, or hold it nicely. Put a couple of magnets on. Oh, we moved. Ah. The magnets are really strong. Are these neodymium magnets? Neodymium, yeah. I think so. I think that's it. Did I get that right? I think I got it. And then you put this on top. I like using the corner because it gives me something to push against. And then you can stencil another color over the top. Pick a color. Do you want to do pink? Maybe? Yeah, let's do pink. Uh, would the smusher be tough for you to use if you had small hands? No, I don't have very big hands. Like, look at my hands compared to Greg's. Yeah, I've got huge yeah. hands. Let's go hands the other way around. Like, my hands are tiny. 
So, and I, it's perfectly sized. Maddie uses it. You know, Tilly comes up and uses it. Um, so there you go. No, you can ask as many questions as you need, Athena. That's exactly what we're here. We come to do these tutorials so you can see. Um, the coupon, I don't know if you can stack with insiders because the thing is the store only allows you a maximum um, discount. So you can blend to the side. So maybe I'll do this side super strong and then we'll fade out this way. And there's this stencil is really um, versatile. There's add-ons so you can make, you see these look like flowers if you go this way. And also you can make it into 3D cubes. It masks off the pieces so you can do light, medium, dark. So if you get this stencil and the stamp set, there's a lot of bang for your buck you can get in it. There's tons of different ways you can use it. There you go. Um, is That's the make really cool. art mat easy to clean? Yes, I use Squid Buster Totally Awesome Cloth. Clean it off I go next time again. Um, oh, thanks, Alicia. She said, your blog on Maker Forte has amazing projects from your design team. I want to send a shout out to them and remind people that, yes, and it's really easy to find. All you do is makerforte.blog. I mean, it couldn't be easier to find. Just go to makerforte.blog. And then you go on there. Yeah, Lisa, there's, I don't know if you've ordered it yet, but there's a flurry of flowers add-on and there's a 3D cubed or stepped cubed something add-on it's called. There's two different add-ons and you can get both of them and um, you can make this into... We're waiting here patiently. And of well, course, it really also patient. coordinates yeah. with the New Beginning stamp set. There's tons of different things with one stamp set. Look at that. How cool is that? So there you can see... Yep. So you've got the, you've got like the blue backing in there with the pink on top. It's like two colored effect. Just so easy with a quick stamp and a stencil you go together. It's really cool. cool. I really like that. Or you could stencil first and then stamp in black over the top. You know, there's tons of different things you can do. But you can kind of see there's a flower here. So like this is the flower here. And then you can also make one of these into a 3D block. 3D cube, yeah. yeah. So there's tons and tons of different things. And um, Kathy says, don't forget to like this video too while we're reminding people, yes, please do give us a thumbs up. Um, if you're watching this after it's live, a comment helps us so, so much. And the link to everything is down below as well. Um, it's in Amazon, uh, Easy Mount Foam Thin Bulk. Uh, I can try and find it for you if you want an Amazon link. Amazon. What's that? Uh, if you take your stamps off the wooden block, you have oh. to easy mount for thin. Oh, thin bulk. Let's try that. Yeah. Impact, Crafter's Companion. Is that the one? If this is the one, Denise, let me know. I'm going to drop the link in the description for you. Yep. Uh, is, oh, I missed the comment. Is that corner tool the same as the stamp in my jig? It's um, got magnets in it, so if you're bored. But we discovered you can use Misty Corners too. Um, and, of course, I really hope the Misty Corners coming because I have so many cool techniques to share with you. Um, <laughs> but that's coming there as well. Well, it said the light keeps cutting out. It must be the storms. Um, what's the name of that stamp stencil? It's called New Beginnings. Is the stamp set beginnings and stepped cubes? Ooh. Cubes is the stencil, and then there's step cube add-on. But if you put step cubes in, it'll come up for you. So that's on there too. Her, Alicia says she just heard the thunder. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be pretty intense. <laughs> um, and if you want to check out any of these new releases, um, I am going to keep it up probably for um, today. And then it has to go away because Bethany will kill me tomorrow morning if she comes in and this product's on the website. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yes. It'll be fine. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so it's an exclusive release. I haven't released this anywhere else, but I think it's really... What do you think of the tool, Greg, as the PhD engineer in the room? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Should people buy one? I think it's really cool, actually. It makes it... Very, it's really simple, really straightforward. Yeah. Like, you just get it, you know immediately how to use it. I know it's... 
quite different. But that's because of our studio lighting. It's designed we, not to yeah, do that glare. Yeah, we go to a lot of trouble with the studio lighting to avoid exactly the, this glare. So when you look top down, you don't get the glare. Um, but if you look at it under normal lighting at home, it's it's really clear. It's a nice deep cut. And you, it's um, engraved in there, so you can feel it. it. You're not going to scratch gonna, it off. Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna gonna clean gonna... it off. It's in there forevermore. So it's really cool. And this works with all your A2s. Slimline will be different because Slimline has a different geometry to We're it. are working on the Slimline one, aren't we? Yeah. We'll have that one up and running too. Um, probably for the April 30th release party, we should have that. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, I love that, says, do you have stencils <laughs> for airbrushing? Yes, all of our stencils are made out of Mylar. You can use them for airbrushing. When I'm airbrushing with any of the stencils, I do recommend using the Pixie Spray and the Splat Box. But yes, will they be available again tomorrow in Nifty Spirits? I can't promise that because Bethany may kill me. There is also a reason we, when we do stuff, because we have wholesale customers and distributor customers. So sometimes when I do these sneak peeks to help you with something, because we're just, I had lots and lots of comments on how do you use layering stencils? I cannot figure this out. I can't get it right. So the way to answer that question was to do this for you. Um, so it just depends if we're allowed to keep it up or not, if we have to wait for release day, because there's certain things in that. Um, so I can't promise, but like we will you try to. wait to... for a release day, is it, dear? No. <laughs> what is that corner to call called? It's called. Um, this one? Yeah, there's a name for it. Hang on. I have it on the website. You can find it at this link, but I'll tell you exactly what it's called. It's Wendy Vetti. Wendy Vetti. But it's Make called Art Ranger. The Make Art Perfect Stamp Positioner Set. You get something else in it too, but. I don't really use that. It's an acrylic piece that has grid lines on it, but it's only like A2 front. It's too small uh, in my opinion, okay. but this is brilliant. That's genius. Okay. So I love that. Um, and then with the station, and you don't have to have the station either. Um, it just holds everything in place because of the magnets, which is really nice. And there is a ruler add-on you can get too. So if you want to do things that are perfectly straight, there's this magnetic ruler add-on. This again is another thing. I did add them all to the store just so you can see. If you want to do something and get a perfectly straight line or you want to hold something in place. The other nice fun thing you can do with this one is say you were doing, I don't know, choose a piece and set everything dirty. I'm just going to take this one for example. So you would saw, you can put it down and use it to mask. So you could ink blend this half Oh, and, you and then like you don't need nice tape again, edge. and then you just go here and ink blend this half, and you're done. And you oh, can use yeah. your centering lines to get exactly half because you've got centering, or you can do diagonals. And it's like it's not really oh, going to go cool. anywhere, so it's kind of cool. You can use it for that. This too. is this. We're going to use this. This a lot, whole aren't we? system is There's amazing. much you can do, and it makes yeah. everything so much easier. The other thing that's really cool about it is if it does move, say you're doing something and you didn't, and it moves out of place. Well, you've still got your marks, so you can just move it back to exactly where it was. So, Victoria, really I have to take it back. It's not called New Beginnings. It's called Believe in Yourself, the stamp set. Sorry, my mistake. Do you not know the names of your own stamp sets, dear? I made a mistake. I always think this one's called New Beginnings. It's, not, it's, called, it's called Believe in Yourself. That's a really nice sentiment on it, too. It says, start every day with new hope, leave bad memories behind, and have faith for a better tomorrow. Focus on the good thing, live your dreams. I believe in you, be strong, do what you love, love with all your heart, believe in yourself, and just be you. I think it's really nice. Okay. So yes, it's called uh, Believe in Yourself. And, uh, did you say the mat came with a ruler? It does come with a ruler, it comes with this ruler. This is the ruler it comes with. Pause. So this is just like a floppy magnetic one, which is still cool, but it's nowhere near, near as chunky as this one. Like this is, you see what I mean there? Yeah, the top one's a thick yeah. piece of acrylic with magnets set into it, and the one that comes with it is a yeah. flexible so magnetic try it strip out. ruler. They're both cool. They're yeah. both cool, and you choose them for different things. But, you know, you can try out the one that comes with it. If you love it, then I suggest um, upgrading to the chunky one. I really like this. You're going to see this stuff a lot. We have some really cool tools on the way. I'm going to tell them about everything. I'm not allowed to. No, you're not. Um, but yes, uh, yes, they the are liquid text mediums. I can't say it out loud. Well, you tell me. Build here. Mm. Um, I can put on them on, shelf, well, yes. on mute and then you can tell me. Uh, Francine says she's buying the whole system today. Um, oh, cool. It is a really fun system and I think you're going to get a lot of use. You're going to see me use this all the time. And I have some other stuff coming tomorrow that we're going to use it with. It's really exciting. Excellent. 
Um, didn't you say the Mac Henry? Yes, we covered that. Hey, Michelle, she said I finally made live. Well, we're about to finish. Um, but thank <laughs> oh, you so much. I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, we're literally right at the end now. Um, but go back and watch it because we just released a really cool tool that allows you to lay your stencils perfectly, make background stamps, like perfect first impressions, um, mask off, use A2 spotlights. Like it does everything for your A2 card you could ever possibly want to do. It's really, really good fun. So go check it out. Definitely worth it. Tilly, what have you done to your dress? Uh, you got a tail on it. I think she's cut it. Um, <laughs> so uh, what else? Oh, geez, just added the other ruler also. Yes. So lots of fun things in there. And of course, if you haven't already grabbed your free ticket to Lift Your Spirits tomorrow, it's a really fun class. Emily and I are going to be doing it. We're making four cards, and I'm using a Cinco de Mayo stamp set to make all sorts of celebration cards. We're going to make birthday cards with it, Cinco de Mayo cards, general celebrations. Like we're mixing and matching and doing some really cool things. We have an exclusive mini release for you as well. I have a couple of other tools, uh, Greg's blowing kisses to Tilly, and uh, <laughs> other things too. So if you don't have that, then go on over. I'll give you a quick link to the ticket because it makes it easier if I give you the link too. Um, Tilly's about to come in, I think, too. And it's your last chance for it. Midnight tonight, we cut off the class registrations, um, but it is the second Monday of every month. So um, you can do that as well. Yes, Athena, the matte corner and rulers are made by Ranger, and then we've developed the little add-on, but you can get them all in the Maker Forte store because we like it to be a one-stop shop. We want it to be super easy, so you don't have to go to Ranger and pay shipping there and then come to us and pay shipping there. And all Maker Forte orders over $75 have free U.S. shipping. Don't they, Tilly? Say yes, Mum. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can we watch Lift Your Spirits? Yes, you get lifetime access to Lift Your Spirits, Mary. Yeah. The link that we give you, so when you register for Lift Your Spirits, you get a PDF link and you also get a reminder email closer to the time. We sent it out on Friday. That link is the link you use forevermore to watch it anytime you want. So if you want to re-watch it or any of those things, then um, you just use that Very same link as well. I'm really trying to concentrate, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> what do you think of it, Tilly? Do you like it? Did I do a good job? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go on, quiet. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, <laughs> for joining us and spending some of your Sunday with us. I hope you enjoy your new stencil layering tool. It's super cool. It's really awesome. It's easy to use. And I think you're going to have lots and lots of fun with it. So I can't wait to see lots of you tomorrow and lift your spirits. As I say, if you haven't got your ticket, you can. Here is the link once more. And you can come join us. We'll have fun. It'll be Emily and I. And we're going to show you some really, really cool things as well. So have a very happy Sunday. We're going to go weather the storm. Yeah. Greg's got some shelving got to put together. To do, yeah. <laughs> and I also have some work to do. So we're going to go do that and watch some movies together. So happy Sunday, everyone. I don't think we're going swimming anymore. No, not That's the gym. That's not happening, no. is it? No. It'll be oh. the gym today. No, silly. It's a storm. A big one. All right, everyone. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow. Right. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>